Hello and welcome back to my cottage kitchen. For those of you that are new to our channel, my name is Abby Jo. This channel is all about slow and simple living, lots of cooking from scratch, thrifting, and a cozy home life. If that's something that you enjoy too, then please take the time to subscribe and follow along. I love lighting candles while I work in my kitchen doing simple tasks such as washing my dishes and tidying up. I like to get my kitchen clean before I start a cooking or baking project. I want to make some pizza for lunch and get some extra dough made to put in the freezer. I've been slowly filling up the freezer with good meals over the last few weeks, not all in one day like I do sometimes. I've been adding the extra freezer meal prep in here and there and doubling and tripling recipes when I make them. I am using my bomb-proof pizza crust and I will put a link in the description below. I also have a pizza making course where I show you all kinds of pizza crusts, sauces, and methods for pizza. Sometimes I will brown hamburger with some peppers and use that for pizza topping. My children really like it. I'm adding in steak seasoning. It really is the magical ingredient and I love the peppery taste along with some black olives that I'm using for topping. I like to add corn flour, cornmeal, or grits to the pan before I roll out the pizza. It keeps the dough from sticking and adds a nice texture. I often start cooking in the kitchen and soon one of my daughters will join me. Natasha and I usually try to have a couple days a week, schedules allowing, where we just cook together. It's very special and I enjoy it.
The little ones were excited that we were making pizza today. It's usually once a week treat and mostly on Friday nights, but today I wanted to make a couple batches of dough for the freezer too. I am always amazed at how beautiful and easy homemade pizza is to make. I get a lot of satisfaction taking flour, salt, yeast, and turning it into a pizza. When I'm in my kitchen baking, cooking, and doing food prep for the week, I always feel my most relaxed and coziest during the winter months. These cold months are made for quiet, cozy days spent in the kitchen. I find spring and summer beautiful and cozy in their own way, but I am not drawn to the kitchen in the same way as I am during the fall and winter months. In saying all that, this winter has been very mild with snow. I look out my window only to see brown spots peeking out like quilt patches all over the snow. It feels like a false spring, and I know we will get some snowstorms before our winter is over. I usually spray my freezer bags with avocado oil, but I was out of that, so I drizzled a little olive oil in the bags to keep them from sticking to the dough. It's tradition in our house to eat carrot sticks with our pizza, but today everyone wanted cucumbers, so that's what we went with. Daniel and I stopped at a thrift store recently and found some great things and a few items that I had been on the lookout for. I also had my 50% off coupon with me, so I was pretty happy with my thrift haul. Hello friends and welcome to the cottage. I'm really excited that you guys got to do a little cooking with me and now I want to share some of my thrift shopping finds with you. I recently swung into the thrift store with my husband and I wasn't expecting to video or anything so I had him really quickly get that little shot for you guys of my cart full of good stuff. I was so excited because I had been looking for a chest so I could put all my kids' Legos in it and it would just look really nice in the living room but kind of hide them when they're not in use and then they could always just go to their box and have Legos and it's been so wonderful. I found this adorable chest for only, it was $50 but I had a 50% coupon. So I actually got it for 25, it was like $49.99 and I got it for $25 and I'm just so happy. This whole entire purchase that I got, everything was half off because I had a 50% off coupon. And I've been looking for a really nice little chest like that that was in good shape. A lot of times they're really rusted out or they're not in really, they're just kind of ratty. And this one was actually in pretty good shape. And it even has the top little shelf so he can put some of his favorite Legos on top and then put like his big mass amount down below. 
I always try to keep an ongoing list. Like I've said many times when I go to the thrift store, I keep it in my phone and I'm just always looking for things. And then sometimes I'll find something that I know I just love, it's unique, and I'm gonna take it home. So that's kind of how I guide my shopping. I always try to look for something that's beautiful and useful. That's kind of my basic guideline. I'm really picky when I'm looking for a lamp for my house because I really adore a vintage lamp that has a nice warm glow. So I'm always keeping my eyes out for vintage lamps. I actually don't have a ton of lamps in my house. I think I have like three or four and I have a spot on my gallery wall that I really wanted to have a lamp so we could read in that corner with my blue chairs. And I didn't quite know what would fit and work with the gallery wall. Kind of wanted something slender so it wouldn't like be competing with the wall and just have kind of a vintage look. So when I found this gold lamp, I was so pleased to find it. It was just perfect. And it was on, I think it was, was $24.99. And again, I got that for 50% off because I had the 50% off coupon. So that's like $12.50. So I was so pleased to add another beautiful vintage lamp to my house. It's really darling. Dishes are my weakness and I really cleared out some of my older dishes recently and I just kind of went through things and asked myself what works together and what looks good for a beautiful tea setting and a dining setting and the holidays and so I'm pretty happy with that but I did have this platter that I absolutely loved and used all the time and I broke it recently. I was putting it in the shelf and I just kind of missed <laughs> missed my calculation on where I was putting it and it cracked. So I was so sad about that. And I was kind of looking for some new serving dishes. One of the things I wanted recently was just kind of a medium to small size bowl. This was like $2.99 and again, half off, so $1.50. And then I wanted a circle uh, serving platter. And again, this was like really cheap. It was either $2.99 or $3.99, 50% off. So I like it too, because they go good together for like, you know, chip and dip and crackers and different things like that, but also you can use them separately. And it looks really pretty when you're plating food on white like this. And I like to have some just real simple, plain serving dishes that can go with any of my other dishes. You know, I love flowers. And so I'm always looking for beautiful vases for the flowers that we grow in our garden. And I found this beauty. It's so gorgeous. I love how simple it is, but very blingy. I just, the way it is cut and everything, it kind of reminds me again of that art deco look. It's not actually the look that I um, always go for, but I just thought it looked so pretty in the middle of the table. And I don't know, I was just really drawn to it and I really like it. So this was $7.99 and I got it for half off. So I only paid $4 and I'm very happy with it. And this darling little platter here, I've been wanting to have a little platter for tea sandwiches for tea time and this just fit the bill. I love the delicate little flowers and just like almost the basket weaving. It's just such a sweet, simple little piece and I'm excited to use it for our tea time. Another thing more practical is I got some really nice Cabela's garden muck boots. Super happy with these and they were, let me see the price here. $9.99, so they were 50% off, so I got them for $5. And my husband found this really awesome little backpack stove, and it was $19.99, so half off, $10. And he looked it up online, and it's really an expensive little backpack stove. I think he said it was like a hundred and something dollars, 180, 170. And so that was a steal. <laughs> He's just really excited to have a new stove to use in his backpacking gear. I'm gonna use this beautiful vase that I just got and put some dried flowers in it just for a cozy look in the house to kind of fill, I don't know, bring a little bit of the outside in. My next door neighbor is so sweet. She dries flowers from her flower gardens every year and she always brings us a couple bouquets every year that are all dried and ready and they're just so beautiful. And this year she brought a little bouquet for every one of us in the family. So this will go in my daughter's room. I thought these purple ones were so beautiful. And these ones, they just look real. I just love them. And I thought I'd put them right now just in this vase. And I thought they would look so nice on our table. And I just love the, like, the delicate um, grasses and just the pretty pink and mauve colors. They're just so pretty. 
I just love thrift shopping. I found this uh, about a year ago. This is one of my absolute favorite vases. And I thought this little bouquet with baby's breath would look really pretty. I think I need to get some scissors and cut it down just a little bit, but I thought that looked really pretty in the kitchen. And this bouquet is so pretty. She made this one for my littlest daughter and it's just so bright and cheery. I thought I would put it in like a really pretty little jug or something and put it in her bedroom and it would just bring in some winter cheer. I'm always amazed at what you can find thrift shopping and I think it's so fun to challenge yourself to decorate with thrifted finds and finds at yard sales and even maybe antique shops. It's just fun to see how you can repurpose things and make your home look beautiful. I am definitely going to be making a video down the road where we go thrifting again and really show you all of our thrift shops and some of the thrifting finds that we find because I know you guys have told me that you love thrift shopping. I thought these natural colors would look so good with the yellow in my daughter's room. Isn't that pretty? That'd be beautiful. And then this, I think I'm just gonna cut down. I was cleaning up my pantry area and realized that I needed to refill my cocoa jar and I kind of needed to organize my loose leaf tea. So I thought I would do that and talk with you. You guys know I like to buy in bulk. This is organic cocoa powder. I think I would sneeze. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Jars already full. I've got some teas here that I kind of want to get consolidated and put into other jars. They're all really good. I got these uh, about, I don't know, a couple years ago when I was at a bulk tea store and they're really good. And then at the last bit of a tea a friend gave me and it's the Earl Grey and it's delicious. <laughs> and I have these jars right here. They're so cute and I love putting teas in. And I'm going to put these two that I got from this really awesome tea company, Farmhouse Teas. This one is a chocolate, not coffee tea, and it is really, really delicious. My daughter uses this one all the time. So put this here. And I thought today we would try this new one, Cottage Peach. Ryobis tea it just sounds delicious. It's got ginger and peaches and organic peach extract. Oh wow, and it smells good. That smells delicious. I think we're gonna make that today for tea time. These teas come in really cute packaged box. I got a box for Christmas this year and I really loved it. And I'm gonna put a link below if you guys are interested in this tea. I love all different tea companies and teas, but this one has been really a nice high quality tea company and I've been enjoying these teas. Oh, I can't get over that smell. It smells so good. This one has such a, like a chocolate nutty smell. It smells really good. These don't have very much tea left in them. So I think I'm going to set them out by my teapot. So I remember to use the last bit of this tea up. So I have some exciting news to tell you guys. And that is I am going to have my first grandbaby really soon. And so I have been packing the freezer up with all the good food so that I can leave my family for a couple weeks and go stay with my daughter and 
take care of her and just enjoy her and her new baby. So I'll be flying pretty soon to visit them. So that's why I've been putting pizza crusts in the uh, in the freezer. I almost said the oven. <laughs> in the freezer. And today I'm going to make some lasagna. And Natasha's been making things. We've been just going back and forth. And actually Natasha's going to fly with me. We're going to make this a daughter and mother trip and also get to go see the new baby. So we're really, really excited about that. And that's why I've been doing a lot of kitchen prep for the freezer. I like to do that anyways, but I'm kind of doing extra. So Daniel and Nadia and the little kids will have lots of good food while we're gone. And I'm not going to only be a grandmother one time, but twice. Both of my children that live in Idaho are having babies. My daughter and my son, his wife is going to have a baby. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait. It's just a really a neat phase to be in. I, I think it's just a, definitely icing on the cake. I have, you know, my older kids and then I have my little kids and then now I'm going to have some grandchildren. So I'm really excited. I think I'm going to go make some tea now and have some tea with Natasha for a little respite before we get cooking and making some more food for the freezer. Getting the kettle on while Natasha cuts up some chocolate banana bread she made earlier in the week. When we have tea, I like to light some candles and make the tea table pretty. There's something special in making time for little moments like this. I love thrifting beautiful tablecloths, candlesticks, tea dishes, and like to make a pretty little tea table. This white teapot I recently purchased online with a strainer to replace my beloved enamel white teapot that I had for over 25 years. The enamel started chipping on the inside so it was no longer safe to use. I use this teapot along with my clear glass teapot as my everyday teapots. When I sit down with a cup of tea or coffee, seemingly an ordinary act, it always stirs up such a cozy comfort in me, and I feel thankful for all these little moments. It doesn't have to be around a tea table. It can be next to the fireplace or outside on the porch, but taking time for a little respite in your day is always a good thing, in my opinion. We are going to be making three lasagnas for the freezer. I have a recipe on the blog for my bolognese sauce and I'll be sure to link it below. Natasha is mixing up a large bowl of ricotta with herbs and seasoning. I am using two of my home canned marinara sauces. It has some tomatoes, carrots, garlic, onions, and peppers in it. 
That's why it has a lighter coloring than the store-bought marinara sauce. I'm almost out of my home can marinara sauce, so definitely need to can more next year. I mix the marinara sauce right into a big batch of cooked hamburger and garlic. Today I'm not using any recipes. This is often how I cook. I just eye and use what I have on hand. I am using the no boil method or what you would call overnight lasagna. It eliminates you having to boil the noodles and when I'm making lasagna, I prefer this method. Once cooled, I wrap them good and put them into the freezer. The assembly line is all set up and now it's down to layering, sauce, the ricotta mixture, cheese, and the lasagna noodles. Three lasagnas ready for the freezer. As always, thank you for spending time with us today and I'm wishing you a blessed weekend.